throughout the whole world within milliseconds. Now we have to go straight to what is uh, affecting us. Yesterday and uh, last night, um, HOD touched on these things. And um, I will go to that inside for us to understand where our problem is coming from. We already know this is part of the problem, that of one thing or the other, we keep on ignoring it. And the ignoring it has a very serious impact on us. And it continues to hurt us. The armies, they have sent down the zoo army that has no morale. Has nothing. They are the repentant Boko Haram giving army uniform. And the so called, they are not the custodian of the land anywhere. We will come to that. The people claim, these people claim they are representing the people, but me and you know they are not. They are the hand feet of the army. They hold a meeting and decided that we, they are going to invite Boko Haram in the zoo uniform to come and massacre the people they preside over. This goes to show that's number one ticket. These people do not love one of So, we are market and narrow it down. One. If they love you, Yoruba, Yoruba state has never done any of this. Not a, no northern state has done any of this. It's only in Yafra land that has a lot of wealth. So, we are market. These people are not your friend, including all the people that attended those meetings. They are your problems. The sooner you realize it, the better you come out of your misery. So, when you are working, when you are planning, you know where to put this people. They have started the work of their master center them to kill red. And you can see it's echoing throughout the Biafra land. They will not go up to the north from this and fight where bandits, bandits are taking over. No, it's in the east. The peaceful. All the killings happening are mastermind by these people. Yeah, I have to touch on MSC. MSC wrote a report, IPOB is killing people, the government at home. MSC, with a due respect, we respect you. What you have been written so far, or in this one, you get it wrong. Completely wrong. If you have been following Radio Biafra, IPOB, is, um, hierarchy, the sit at home was uh, ordered on August 9th. Two weeks later, the city at home was lifted. Press release has been released. And Jingu provided that IPOB has lifted the city at home. But people continue to honor city at home because Biafra is a spirit. The subconsciousness, Biafra has gotten into everybody's subconsciousness. Now, the evil people start to kill people including the politicians, using the DSS, killing people on that Monday. Now, Amnesty International, people and you have said it's IPOB. That is false. IPOB do not have arms. All we have is just our mouth, the truth that is coming out of it. So when you write a report, it's always good to get right. There is no sentiment. We have been lamenting of the killing of our people. IPOB, when we put the sit at home, we do not force people. People are buying. We lifted it up. IPOB is not enforcing any sit at home. People are just sitting at home. And then plus, the agent, the DSS, and the governors, those are said to kill their political opponents. That is what is happening. And if you look at where it's happening inside that eleven, he was state an emperor. Now you understand. So we move on to the Anambra election 
as a HOD touch last night. The our people's subconsciousness of our people has risen, and everybody is uh, right awake. And because we are right awake, the same thing we have been lamenting, some people try to get us wrong. In every, you know, our emotion goes high when you talk about religion. Emotion, religion, many people don't even know the meaning. They don't even understand it. But they just allow their emotion to cloud their judgment. But that wouldn't stop us from saying it the way it is. It might take you 100 years, who knows? That's your own cup of tea. But it's for us to say it the way it is. And uh, so that people will understand. I remember a lecture I said, hey, sure, he said last night, they have consulted, but before that, we need to talk about what is going on. Four years ago, the Alambra, the Diaphra, we boycotted the Alambra election. It was successful. Successful to the core that Yubiana becomes a caretaker governor for the past four years. And for him to become that uh, caretaker governor, he signed a contract with APC. Now after the four years time, the power must be handed over to him. That is what they said and agreed, still and they signed, delivered. If you look, that is why I haven't seen Odiano come out to campaign for Abka. That is why they are seriously campaigning for Sita to continue. That is why they keep on telling our people, oh, an umbrella election, we must buy for Sita sit at home, because you know what happened. That is what they wanted. They have went to the prison and registered the inmates. They have a plan, A, a and B. They are sponsoring people, writing social media, talking, an umbrella election, we are going to sit at home. Because they know that successful sit at home, yes, is going to be 100% successful. And that is where they want everyone to put their attention. But you see, sometimes uh, we allow the lousy people to keep on talking. Why the right thinking ones, they do not speak, they do not think. I mean, they do not say, they just relax and monitor and see what is happening. And they able to analyze and understand where the trend is going. I repeat, the agent of the zoo help those of their friends that say, no, I have an election, we must boycott, we must sit at home. It's echoing and it's vibrating. And they put everybody in that direction. And a lot of people just love to yapping and yapping about it as well. We did that four years ago. We showed the world. The world doesn't even care anyway. We showed the world. We didn't vote it. But they gave us a caretaker. We have demonstrated to the world. We are peaceful. They know that. They know we didn't vote. So now again, four years later, do we want the same result of uh, four years ago? But before I come back to that, so Andy Uba is an APC front runner. Many of you do not know this, but we tell you the deal that happened behind the scene. As I said, uh, hope you are not signed an agreement with the APC to deliver hand power over to them. And that matters, as I'm saying it. And Yuba is one of the largest shareholders in Dankote. And Dankote released 19 billion naira for him for campaigning in Alhambra. So, which means if he has a dog in Alhambra, he will get his own share of And Yuba, 19 billion naira. So in essence, it's only a miracle we stop uh, Andy Uba from not becoming the governor of Alhambra. 
There is no emotion in self-realism. So you wake up to realize what is before us. The devil, the agents, their plans and everything. Now for the plan to happen, they know that they are going to boycott it at home. They quickly register people in mess, those in the prisons. Now, there is one Reverend Father, Neville Cole. He brought this a wonderful idea. He was given a 20 million naira, uh, so more than that, and then a, a brand new Grand Cruiser for bringing that a brilliant idea. The brilliant idea is the election of an ambassador to be conducted in the church. They may have the election before the day of election. And the way they plan it is honored uh, by the Catholic Church, Anglican Church, and Testaments. Anglican Church have a nine diocese. I'm not sure how many the Catholic has. They call, I can't remember the name they call their crusade, they want to hold, to gather people. It's happening this month, both Catholic, Anglican and the Protestants. They have shared money. When I say Reverend Father, from bishop to the bottom, to the congregation. In Alhambra State, though they are not going to give them money, how many millions to all the churches every month? And the nominated people, they, they rotate every six months. They are getting money. So, do you see how when you sit down and then you have to chat and sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Do you see what the enemy is planning for you? Now ask, what are you going to do? We're just saying this so that everybody will know. When we talk about corruption, the Church of God as well is part of that corruption in the Afro land. Because they have fallen into a place of worship, into a political ground to elect the enemy. These people will stand on the pulpit every Sunday preaching about you, preaching about all every manner of things. But indeed, they are part of that evil holding everybody in that land captive. Are we seeing that? Some people, you will see some people jumping to defend. Defend. They have sold everybody. And the army is there to defend them. And if anything happened to them, any of them, they will say it's IPOB. Even they will use a DSS to stage. Because now their secret has been revealed. So everybody, the Afrans, friends of the Afrans. So this is the way it goes. If any church in the Afrans land in Alhambra allow their church to be used, then hold those people responsible. Hold them responsible. From bishop, what I'm saying is a bishop has their own share, they're already giving them money. I'm not saying, I didn't mix word. I'm not mixing what I said they have already, they have already, the, the Reverend Father that brought this wonderful idea he has collected his own money. I can't remember how much we can they get each of them. To perfect this plan. Because they are going to call a congregation. Either in the name of a crusade. This is how they want to carry out the vote. And the army will protect all these premises. So who did this to us? Nobody we. Who is holding us from not going? Nobody we. We said the children of God spent 40 years in way that they couldn't go to the promised land. Mm -hmm. Who did that? They did themselves. From Egypt to Israel, uh, to Israel it's not uh, It's less than two hours, depending on the location. Or less, uh, less, uh, less uh, 400 miles. 40 years. We coming out of that zoo from Africa to East, how many, how many kilometers? How many years have we done this? 
Who is holding us? Nobody, only but we. Do you see it? Now, let's talk about these churches in our land. Because since uh, they become part of the evil, it's as well we touch about them. Today is Shabbat. And we give everybody this uh, uh, assignment. I call it assignment. So assignment, yes, assignment. We are the ancient people. Ndebo, our land is holy. We all do know that. We read it in the Bible. Our God is jealous. He is very, very jealous when you worship another God beside him. He abandoned you. And indeed, that is why he abandoned us. Now, let's look at all this church from Catholic Church to Anglican. In every community in our land, go now from your own community to another community. Where did they build their churches? I mean, the, 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 the old churches. Where did they build them? Either if I'm talking about Catholic or Anglican, you will find out where they build all these churches in our land is our sacred land, which is in our language. Of your so I'm very close to the market. That is where we go and worship those days. We gathered in the market square. Depending on whether the area is okay, or you have They are for a or you for Unquo is a woman, a case, a man, and all those things. They are falling together. They make up people land. And each one of them knows what the other one knows. They went. Oh, here more. That's where we call. We call some people call it oh, here more. That's where we go and worship our creators those days. And they want them to break us. Those people then they give them land next to Pumwa and then they build their churches and bring that the dividers. Remember our God is jealous for you to go and worship something else. Now they put our churches there and then devour the land and create that jealousness forever and ever because it's side, side by side. Exactly what it, exactly what happened in Israel, in Jerusalem. Doom of Rock, Aquaba, is it Doom of Rock? I can't remember what the Arab called The Temple of Solomon. It was not done and then Islam built their mocks on top of that. That is exactly, but in our own case, they didn't knock that, they just built on the side. And then, guess what? Create that jealousy. Now your God abandoned you. And now they're telling you there is a new life. Come, you will be saved. Without knowing that now who you are has been completely taken away from you. Now you become slave forever. That is what we are at this very moment. So, Go to your village, study where they build those lands. I mean, those churches. And they ask, why did they do that? Of all places. So that only place. It's only when you are deep down in this way, then you understand it. the significance of it, the importance of what they did, and the consequences to us as the people. So you understand it's part of your downfall as well. Some places they do those things, they still give a sacrifice because uh, from time to time they sacrifice the whether it's bishop or reverend for that living occupying that parish or that church, they sacrifice to the gods there because they come out and disturb them. More and more, you can't bind them away. Spirit is a spirit. So they settle them to give them peace so they can continue. Then the rest of us that knows nothing. We jump in, go there. That's why sometimes we go crusade. <coughs> we are in crusade. 
Then the building will collapse and kill all of us. I said, you go tell them my story. And some people get offense. It's not to don't get me. Don't, don't get offense with me because it's not. The Chukwu Academy is there. That's what we call miracle. It will not happen. When everybody exits the building, the building then it collapses. Then it shows that God indeed, the Chukwu Academy is there to protect his children from any harm. So, go and do your research. Come up and see the truth. Because the truth will set every one of us free. But if there is any election in Anambra State, we hold the churches there. Like uh, Heshodi said, they should go and they study the French Revolution. People will rise up against them and they shouldn't blame IQ. Ours is to say the way it is without your favor. favor. We are asked to allow us to go and worship our God, but they said no. So anything is in our path, our duty is to expose them. Exposing is uh, using the truth to expose those evil, the force. So you will find out that these churches are part of our problem today. Yes, they are not part of our solution. They are part of our problem. As I said, nothing wrong one having to go to church, nothing wrong one belonging to one church or the other. Nothing, nothing is wrong at all. All, all these things, is I have said it many years ago, I say it again. All these things you see is a social club. It's a social club. You can belong to anyone you think he. Nothing is wrong. Don't get me wrong. All these churches, from Protestants, from Anglican, Catholic, all of them are social club. You choose the one you love to belong, you belong. Whether it's Islam, it's a social club. You belong to anyone. If there is nothing wrong, one belonging to any of them. But what is not a substitute is uh, the law of the land. Omena. It has no substitute. You cannot replace it with any religion. Religion is different. As I keep on saying that, so we can understand this. So when we understand this, it makes, it makes our life easier. But we take what belongs to our God and give it into the religion. And they view that next to where our sacred land are, to devour our land and pollute our land. Then that is why the enemy was able to come in and conquer us. That is why if you go to read the Deuteronomy, it says, it, Your harvest, those you do not know, will come and harvest their land, your vineyard, everything. Those that you do not know will come and take them away. You are women raped, you are women taken into captivity, nothing you can do because it's all these iniquities. Because you worship the God that your forefathers didn't know about. If you say, oh, I'm lost, why do I not have, oh, I'm lost. No, you are not lost. All it, all it takes is uh, thinking to connect back. The real something. Sometime in the past, as I spoke in this radio, I talked about that. Uh, if you all know about this, a slave, Equana. Equana. He was a slave, picked up from Atlanta, and then sent to England. He gained his freedom by going to court in UK. Equana. He wrote a lot of books. He wrote a, wrote a couple of books about us and the Jewish people. Because he is the first time. Then religion is the Christianity or whatever is not in our land. When you look at the uh, Judah, Jewish we say, oh, these are the things we practice in our land. Everything. So, if you are lost, this gives you an insight what your forefathers, how they used to be, how they used to worship and things they used to do. So that should be a reference point if you are, if you are confused. Thinking how you can connect back. I'm saying they observe similarity to the Jewish culture. They observe some of the things we have. I'm not saying I'm not saying the, I'm saying observe how they do things. Oh, we do all these things. We do all these things. We are the same people. So we need to go back and connect and then get to solve all these things because they are the these are the toxins that are killing us, silently killing us. That is you. My father is God. 
you go down and buy, but already collect money, sold it. You still go and give time. People rush to money, mass, and then they have their soul, their soul. Their, their leaders, those that are supposed to know better, protect them, have already collected, taking money from the government and professionally enslaving them. And then we keep them clapping and say that we fast, we fast and fast and fast and fast. I haven't seen any country in the world that fast. Um, it's not uh, in African country. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this, yeah. Any work you do, anything you are doing, you didn't put any effort to go and do the work. It's a waste. Fasting is good. Prayer is good. You pack it up. As, if, as uh, the children of God does in uh, the Israelite does in, uh, in the Bible does them. They fast and do everything. They go and fight. That is how it's been done. Typical example of it is you're a student. Don't go and study. Go and enjoy your life. Uh, fast and pray before the day of an uh, uh, exam. If the exam is one week, give yourself a fast and pray. 24, uh, 12 hours fasting, 7 days. Go and do all those things. Go and start the exam and see if you are going to pass. It's a common sense. You have to do the work. Then you use a prayer to put in that frequency so that what you ask for will manifest. But in that zoo, those that are supposed to talk people better turn it upside down. Everything is not resolved by prayer. Just know that. You see that thing you will do. I know if you do not make it on one keta. The way to call Kabem or Prince, he said, the one that you cannot do, that is the one he, the one that is beyond you, you cannot do. That is the one that he's going to do for you. Do you see the small words you can do? If you like it, fast from today to one month. It's not going to listen to you. Because that is why you are a human being. That is why he gives you superhuman, he gives you authority over to dominate everything on this earth. That's why he gives you brain to think. So if you cannot make use of the other your brand, then there is nothing different you from animal. So Biafra, uh, friends of Biafra, I must thank uh, Biafra uh, all over the world again. We must continue, today is about, we must continue to support this Biafra restoration. Nobody's going to do it for us. Not a single one. We have to come out and continue doing what we are doing. We must continue to support the ESN. We must continue to raise funds for them. You have no other option. Other option is uh, what is happening. Is that what you want? Giving up. What is paining me most is uh, the good people are not speaking up. They go and hide. Allow the evil people to take over. This is not going to get better until the good people come out and raise their, raise their voice and chase away the bad people. That's how we are going to go and get this gap That's why if you go on social media, you see a lot of people here have been making voice message, making all these manners of accusation. Concurring things because they are, I keep on repeating it, because they are on the payroll. They are receiving money for that and they are giving them money, false prophecy, names. Because these people, they want to destroy what we are doing. They do not, they don't like what you represent. So they must find few people that lost money among us. And they are using them to carry out the agenda. There are some people that do not have word of their own. <laughs> you see them now, they will say, yes, I'm here. Next second, somebody talk to them, they say, no, I'm not here. I'm here again. These are the people that doesn't have word of their own. They get pushed around by people. And so what, I do, what I cannot understand that is beyond me is, somebody will look 
he heard the voice of Mazin Nandekano. And then leaving the Mazin Nandekano and start following somebody else. That person is not going to lead him nowhere. Rather, that person will only lead him to the gossip land. And he will end up there. He abandoned the light and following the darkness. As I said last time, that is why you see all these people will gather together. Because they are for the same agenda. If you dig, if you go deep down into their spirit, you see that they are there. They, they are doing exactly what they sent to do at this particular hour. That is why every diaphragm has to be vigilant, not to fall victim of all these things. Devil is there to devour, to deceive. We are very, very close to our promised land. We haven't fired any shot, but the land, land, that zoo is crumbling. And the more they continue to hold our leader, greater punishment is yet to come. The more they continue to hold diaphragm down, more greater calamity is yet to come. What we are seeing is just a preamble of what to come. There is no hidden place for any of them. So we must rise and show these people that there is over 1,000 Mazin Nandekan that our leader Mazin Nandekan has taught us. He is like a Yehoshua. He educated us for a couple of years. He has woken up those that army. So now we have gone into the world to multiply and carry out this message of the coming of Yafra and expose any evil we see on the path that try to bring down IPOB, destruction, the foundation of this Yafra restoration. Like our leader always said, before we came, there is nothing like us. And by the time we come, there will be nothing like us. Only thing the enemy can do is to pray and make up an accusation like they did when our leader was arrested. They make up all manners of accusation to bring down that people. But just a matter of weeks, everything starts to crumble. I must say that anybody that is fighting IPOB, Anybody that is fighting like you have imagined and become any principal officer that will do this work in the truth and in honesty. You are fighting Ajani, Ajani Igbo. That is who you are fighting for. You are fighting your creator, that's your spirit. And all of you will not succeed. You are going to go and so understand this. We are just a messenger, we are just speaking. Coming to attack us, you are attacking who has sent who send us. And that who sent us is the one that is going to. Greater than any of you. Nobody wants this for more than any one of us. I know everybody wants. But we have to listen. We have to adhere to instruction. We have to pay attention. To guide ourselves. Many will die. Many will survive. But then therefore we will be here. For us to rejoice. But we must. For us to achieve that. We must walk in unity. Those that share the same ideology, we must continue working together. And hold this Biafra restoration generously, as if there will be no tomorrow. That is only how we are going to protect this from the enemy. If we do not, the enemy is going to hijack it from us and kiss it goodbye. Nothing good is going to come out of that country called you, Nigeria. For how many years now? Stop hoping on anybody. The hope to restore the Afra lies on you and in me. It's a people's movement. That is why we have to work collectively. The amount of soldiers they send in our land, we shouldn't panic about that. Because poor Kabir is going to put a confusion in that mix and we make sure the land doesn't accept them. So any of us our history said in the morning get up, pray to the exchange, the prayer where our people used to pray in ancient 
Our educator is here. If you do not know, go and look for it. During the time of slavery, when they were picking our people, when they might treat our people, they would pray to support them, when they call the God of Hunchman, mm -hmm. and the horrible things will start to happen to them, to the masters. And they start, what they did is uh, they build a cage to guide their mass so they will not speak. The power is in us, not in anybody. That land is holy. You know what to do. Do that and you see what will happen. There is no need of us to lament. Nobody, as I said, nobody can lament from today to that came and come. Nobody is going to hear. Nobody is going to answer it. Your destiny, your destiny is in your hand. Our destiny is in our hand, not in anybody's hand. So until we do what we need to do, collectively, because if I'm doing my own, you are doing your own, Okaf is doing his own, then they give me, these people will run away from our land. What happened in Lord Benio will happen to them. Sons of Light came and then he killed the Islamic army in Lord Benio. That is why our land was never Islamized. And today, because they have fathered so many of us, they are trying to bring it and force it for us to swallow it in our throat. Anybody that eats it should vomit it out and said no. We are the same people. We showed our stubbornness. Our women did it in Naba. Women riot in Naba. Go riot in Enugu. Name it. Our people in Kumek, we resist these people, but this time we do it with a modern technology and we shall be a winner. Victory will be ours. Only if we, those that share the same ideology, I'm not saying everyone because in a family, no family, the whole family are not speaking with the same voice. Those that share the same ideology because they are in majority. And uh, if we do this, all these people will be disappear from our land. And we must continue to raise money for our ears and support them. They are the people that are defending us. The governors are not there for you. They are working for the caliphate. The politicians name them. They are not there for your own interests. They are your enemies. Even your traditional rulers, even your clergy, all these people, more or less, you are on your own. It's only IPOB is the people that are speaking on your behalf. Is that clear? Is that clear to every one of you? Because since our leader has been arrested, we haven't had any other voice coming up. Those pro different group. Or those uh, clergymen that said uh, they are class Christ uh, Christ like these people are people of the flesh flesh excuse me all the iniquity of the earth is what they wanted material things they do not want to sacrifice any single thing and that is why you will never see them speak or talk anything. That is why I keep on referring again, our destiny is in our hand. Only we, we give ourselves the victory. These people are number few in numbers. How many, how many thousands of army did they send? What is our population? Millions. If you do the math, you find out we will swallow them alive if we want them. They left the land where the bandits are killing. Instead of them to go and fight them, they're coming to the land because when they hear the Afra, it's a nightmare for them. But since we start this journey understanding who we are, now it's our duty to always uh, remind them that they will never defeat us. You can never defeat ideology. 
before before IPOB came, we do not have any ideology. But since we came, we have ideology. And that ideology is uh, Biafra. And where do we worship on that, on Radio Biafra? I will stop here, Mazara Obila, to pay for for us. And I thank you for having me this evening. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you very much, Mazi. But before you go, Mazi, I want to ask this question that, you know, it's, it has been in my stomach since yesterday. And I, I said to myself, I'm going to ask this question. And I hope that beer friends also, some beer friends will want to ask this question. So I will say, it is a question, but I'm going to bring the whole picture out for everyone to see. I'm so grateful. Okay, I'm so grateful to our HOS yesterday on his broadcast. You know, if those that have been listening to Radio Beer Friends, so many Beer Friends, they have been calling, pointing on this issue, which is the announcement that he made yesterday. He said, Six months from yesterday, from yesterday night in counting, six months, the, he dies. Fulani cow meat will be bound in our land. He said that in eating their cows, that we are final, we are financing them in what they are doing. And in every honesty, Every beer friends will believe or will agree that that is true because we are the one financing them. They will bring their cow, right. their dead cow to our land and we will buy it. But in the scripture, it was written there that we shouldn't eat dead animal, but we, they are doing all of these things to us and we are taking it. On the other hand side, he said, he said, that this is an opportunity for Biafran to invest in animal husbandries. And there I want to bring in my question. My question is, um, rec um uh, would I say, yeah, recently there is announcement that was made by this, um, um, Okebeke in Nemo State's, um, um, Ikonso House. He said, he made a statement concerning the animal husbandry and we all know that this is the pushing of the of his master from the north in order to in order to set up ranching in our land i i read that news but i i do not want to make any mistakes so that is the reason why i am pinching it the way i'm pinching it so i know that you will understand exactly what i'm saying so with this and with that that they have done, don't you think that this will be opportunity for these politicians to do what they have been thinking or what they want to do for a very, very long time? I know you understand what I'm asking and I will say please. Yes, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, what I'm saying uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't have uh, what um, the, the, the Supreme Court governor said. But uh, what the uh, HOD said in statement last night, well, uh, uh, I do understand that. Um, and indeed, it's true. We are the people that uh, keep, keep these people going. Because we are the people that are uh, consuming that meat. And I must say, Eating cow meat, red meat, is not good for you. It's not. On a health, on a health ground, cow meat is not good for you. I do not eat cow meat. It takes me months and months and months to have a cow meat. I'm not talking, I mean, and then considering the, the cattle from the Fulania, from the north, that uh, these people are doing all manners of things. Some are sleeping with them. All manners of things. Poison, name it. And they rape, and they come, carry those cattle, come down to our land, they rape our mother, they kill people in the farm, kill our father. Still, 
we end up buying the same cow from them. We are actually the people growing our business. But before saying that, they have agents in our land that their business is uh, those cow. So these people are the people that are actually helping to bring them down to our land. And the way to stop that is our boundaries. To know, you know, this here, everything, if you want to know the boundaries of the people, you look at their life stuff as well. This cow and the goat and the sheep from the north is totally different from ours. Ours is, a, is the original. And that is what uh, HOD ITB is encouraging our people to do. We go and have branches and grow our own. We have the original. And we sell it. Instead of buying things, instead of buying from those that are killing us. It's a common sense. All it takes is for us to build up a ranch anywhere, grow them, sell them, and we patronize. Because this is how we are going to stop this nonsense. Uh, the Supreme Court governor giving our land to, <coughs> to Fulanese. That's not going to happen. Once the people, because it's a one person, once the community says no and nobody, nobody give in, there is no way it's going to succeed. Because anything they put there will be destroyed by the people. So, the, the, whole, the whole thing is, we have to put it this way. If we say it's not going to happen, we make sure we stand on that. Because it's just one person, and we are many. And we make sure anything, nothing grows there, nothing comes there. As simple. After, after five, ten attempts, they will give up. That's the end of it. But the problem is, because of the wrong truth among us, we still can accept money. I had, a, for example, I will give you an example. Uh, the, the Supreme Court governor. When um, everybody knows how he came into power, there was uh, this guy called uh, Ucho Buajo that was, that was criticizing uh, Amala Mokola <coughs> We thought that uh, he knows, he, I mean, he's a perfect man. But then he jumped into the government of uh, Supreme Court government. He collected money, he's not talking anymore. Out of a sudden, he, he is shut up. So we are a part of the problem as well. And there is no way we can solve it without we first solving our own problem by ourselves. So that is it. So this is how we are going to curtail some of these things by us growing our own. Because right now they are controlling our destiny. That's what we need to take in control of our destiny. It's a point that we must continue to fight until we get that. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be cheap. It's going to be brutal. Men, women are going to die. But if we consistency persistent, we are going to be victorious at the end because we are going to warn out the enemy. The different what they do not have is we, we they have two things. We, we, uh, they have two things. I mean, we have two things they do not have. We have the people behind us. One, we have to put that down behind us. That's two. Then all they have is the money and the army. That is what they are using. They are using the money to divide us. But at, at some point, I want to work up that taking those money actually help to put us in perpetual slavery. And we will start rejecting them because if we take that money, your life goes with it. So the next person we say, no, I wouldn't because uh, the other person that too. Oh, then yeah, he never lived to enjoy the money. 
So this is it. So this is a this is a it's a very welcome development, and then we must make sure all these things, as I said, is the people have to continuously push it for it. Doesn't matter. He's a spring court governor. How many years he will just give up? He will give. He will leave. The land will be immense for the people who wants it. It's we that are giving these people this much respect. If we say we want to march and go to governor house and chase them all out, we can do that. Let's say, for example, um, let's say, let's assume that he said we want to chase a I mean, a um, spring court governor away from him, a uh, because of house. How many army personnel did he has there? How many people did he, did he think that he can kill? Higher killer one a killer, let's say higher killer five thousand. But then the only more government is God. Because we are in millions. So you see if they, if they understand the event that they are in, if I were them, I wouldn't be making all these mistakes. <laughs> because there is the subconsciousness of our people has risen into us. You know how we put on, uh, we keep on putting the effort to say the army keep on killing us and shooting us and police. People continue. So that is how it's going to be. And the appropriate time you will see the people, people will rise up and march to this government house and drive these people away. Even if you kill them, they don't get, they are shooting because it is the spirit to do all these things. Everything has a time. But until we reach that destination, that will not happen until our subconsciousness rise up to that level. Then that will come to manifestation. But right now, we keep on enlightening our people. Thank you very much.